हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्निंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड स्टेप डाउन चॉपर विथ आर एल लोड इन द कंटिन्यूस करंट कंडक्शन मोड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्टेप डाउन चॉपर विथ आर एल लोड विथ डिसकंटिन्यूस करंट कंडक्शन मोड सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो डेट यू कैन गेट मोर अपडेटेड वीडियोज फ्रॉम हियर नाउ लेट एस सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू स्टेप डाउन चॉपर दिस स्टेप डाउन चॉपर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बक कन्वर्टर दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ स्टेप डाउन चॉपर हियर वी हैव कनेक्टेड वन रजिस्टर वन इंडक्टर एंड वन बैटरी एट द लोड टर्मिनल्स एंड अक्रॉस द लोड वन फ्री व्हीलिंग डायोड डी एफ इज कनेक्टेड इन द इन्वर्टेड पोजिशन एज यू कैन सी बिकॉज पी साइड ऑफ दिस डायोड इज इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड एन साइड ऑफ द डायोड इज इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन देर फोर इट इज कनेक्टेड इन इन्वर्टेड पोजिशन एंड दिस एच डब्ल्यू स्विच इज कॉल्ड एज चॉपर स्विच सो द स्टेप डाउन चॉपर इज ए स्टैटिक डिवाइस डेट स्टेप डाउन और लोअर्स इट डी सी इनपुट वोल्टेज देर फोर इट इज कॉल्ड एज स्टेप डाउन चॉपर और बक कन्वर्टर हियर द एवरेज लोड वोल्टेज इज लेस देन द फिक्स डी सी इनपुट सोर्स वोल्टेज सो इफ यू आर टेकिंग द एवरेज लोड वोल्टेज एज वी एल देन इन द स्टेप डाउन चॉपर द एवरेज लोड वोल्टेज विल बी स्मॉलर देन द इनपुट DC voltage, which is a fixed DC voltage, and the step down chopper uses power devices such as power BJT, power MOSFET, GTU, and force commutated SCR as a switch. So any of these semiconductor devices can be used as switch in the chopper. And here one EMF E is connected, which can be a battery or back EMF of the DC motor. Next one is operation of step down chopper with RLE load. The operation of the step down chopper can be studied in the two modes. First one is continuous current conduction mode, and second one is discontinuous current conduction mode. Continuous current conduction occurs when the inductance of the inductor connected in the load is high. So whenever the inductance of the inductor is very high, then the load current will be continuous and this mode of operation is called as continuous current conduction mode and when the inductance of the inductor connected in the load is very low then the load current will be discontinuous in nature and it is called as discontinuous current conduction mode so in this lecture we are going to study discontinuous current conduction in the last class we have studied continuous current conduction discontinuous current conduction has three modes of operation the mode number 1 occurs during the interval t is equal to 0 to t is equal to t1 and mode number 2 operation occurs during the interval t is equal to t1 to t is equal to t2 and mode 3 operation occurs during the interval t is equal to t2 to t is equal to t this t is called as chopping period or total time period in the discontinuous mode of operation what happens the load current which is flowing in the load goes to zero during the off state of the chopper switch therefore in the discontinuous mode of operation the minimum value of the load current il minimum will be equal to 0 whereas in the continuous current conduction mode the load current never goes to 0 and we will get a finite value of minimum value of load current that is il minimum will be a finite value in the continuous current conduction mode now we will study first mode of operation This is the circuit diagram of first mode of operation. The first mode of operation is called as energy storage mode which occurs during the interval 0 to t1. So at t is equal to 0 instant what happens this sw switch goes into the on condition that means it will act as short circuit as you can see here. So as soon as it will act as short circuit and it starts conducting a current flows into this loop and this positive of this input dc voltage goes at the end side of this free wheeling diode and when this negative of the input voltage vs goes to the p side of this free wheeling diode this free wheeling diode will go into the reverse bias condition and eventually it will act as open circuit Okay so in this first mode of operation what happens the sw switch is on but the free wheeling diode is off and the current will flow in this loop in the clockwise direction so the load current will start flowing in the load connected across the load terminals and it is represented by il and you can see it is entering at this x point into the load and it is leaving 
at the y point from the load therefore this x point will be positive with respect to this y point and the load voltage is represented by vl okay so in this mode of operation as the polarity of the load voltage and the load current is positive this inductor starts storing the energy in this mode therefore this mode is called as energy storage mode and the load current increases exponentially from the minimum value to maximum value but as it is a discontinuous current conduction mode the load current will increase from 0 to il maximum because in the discontinuous current conduction mode il minimum will be equal to 0 now at t is equal to t1 what happens the load current reaches its maximum value and the switch sw goes into the off condition next mode of operation is mode 2 operation which is called as free milling mode it occurs during the interval t is equal to t1 to t is equal to t2 so at t is equal to t1 the load current reaches its maximum value and the sw switch goes into the off condition therefore the source is disconnected from the load and only this circuit will remain now what happens as inductor is a energy storing device and it has already stored the energy in it in the first mode of operation so when the load current reaches its maximum value and switch goes to the off condition the current through the inductor gets interrupted because the source is disconnected from the load therefore so to oppose the change of current through it the inductor induces a self-induced emf across it and this self-induced emf polarity will be opposite that is plus on the lower side and negative on the upper side so due to this self-induced emf the diode will go into the forward bias condition because this positive will come to the p side of this diode and this negative will go to the n side of the freewheeling diode therefore this diode df starts conducting and it will act as short circuit so because of this self-induced emf only a current starts flowing into the loop in the form of wheel therefore this process is called as freewheeling process and this mode is called as freewheeling mode again the current will enter at this x point and leave at this y point from the load which is represented by il since here the inductor is imparting its energy that means it is dissipated in this mode of operation therefore the load current will decrease from il maximum to il minimum since here il minimum is equal to zero in discontinuous current conduction mode so the load current will decrease from il maximum to zero in this mode of operation and what about the output load voltage the load voltage will be equal to zero why this equal to zero because this freewheeling diode is coming across the load and it is acting as a short circuit that means the load will be shorted by this short circuit created by the freewheeling diode therefore in this second mode of operation the load voltage will be equal to zero last mode of operation is mode 3 operation it occurs during the interval t is equal to t2 to t is equal to t so at t is equal to t2 what happens the load current through the load becomes a zero because the energy stored in the inductor will be dissipated fully and what happens to the freewheeling diode it will go into the off condition and this sw switch is already in the off condition so in this mode 3 operation what happens both diode df and sw switch goes into the off condition and the load current will be zero in this case so since the energy stored in the inductor already gone to zero let us take the voltage across the inductor l is vl and in this case the voltage across this inductor becomes zero and since the source is disconnected from the load so the voltage across the register will also be equal to zero only the battery emf will be remaining here therefore in this case the load voltage will be equal to the battery emf in the third mode of operation the load current becomes zero but the load voltage will be equal to the battery emf e at t is equal to t what happens this sw switch goes into the on condition again and it starts conducting the current and mode number one operation again starts 
in this way the operation repeats itself that means after mode 1 2 and 3 again mode 1 2 and 3 will start now we will understand the output waveform for the step down chopper with rle load in discontinuous current conduction mode this is the fixed dc voltage represented by vs this is the load voltage waveform this is load current waveform this is the current through the switch waveform and this is the waveform of the current through the prevailing diode so here we can see in the first mode of operation at t is equal to 0 what happens the switch as w goes into the on condition what happens to the df diode it will go into the off condition so as soon as the sw switch is on condition the load voltage will be equal to the source voltage in this condition and the load current will increase exponentially from il minimum to il maximum here il minimum will be equal to zero so this is the energy storage mode because in this mode the inductor stores energy since the load is connected in series with the switch and switch is on in this condition therefore the switch current will be equal to the load current il and since the prevailing diode is off in this first mode of operation therefore the prevailing diode current will be equal to zero now comes the second mode of operation the second mode of operation starts at t is equal to t1 so at t is equal to t1 the sw switch goes into the off condition but due to the self-induced emf the prevailing diode df goes into the on condition and freewheeling process takes place in this mode of operation therefore it is called as freewheeling mode and here since the energy stored in the inductor is imparted or it is dissipated therefore the load current will decrease from il maximum to il minimum and here il minimum will be equal to zero and since the switch sw is off in this second mode of operation the current through this switch will be equal to zero and it will remain off up to the instant t is equal to t and the current through the freewheeling diode will be equal to the load current because now the load current is flowing through the freewheeling diode only and in this condition the load voltage will be equal to zero as short circuit created by the freewheeling diode will come across the load now comes the mode 3 at t is equal to t2 at t is equal to t2 what happens the energy stored in the inductor totally dissipated therefore the freewheeling diode goes into the off condition and already the sw switch is in the off condition so it will remain in the off condition so in this mode of operation the load voltage will be equal to the battery emf e and the load current will be equal to zero in this condition so the switch current will also be equal to zero and the freewheeling diode current will also be equal to zero as both these devices are not conducting in the third mode of operation so again after mode number three mode number one starts and the operation repeats itself so hope you have understood the topic thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe my channel for more updates